to man. Peyton Manning stepping out. It's the Zion Show. Pass is caught by Joe. Welcome back to Carmichael Auditorium. Jack Corgan along with Dan Bonner here in the starting lineups. First of all, at the forward spots, David Henderson getting the starting nod this afternoon. Jay Billis was hurt in the game against Clemson. He may play on uh, some aspect of this game today, but for the most part, Duke is going to have to go with a three-guard lineup. Dan Mahar will be uh, the natural forward with Mark Allery in the middle, Johnny Dawkins and Tommy Amaker in the backcourt for Duke. For North Carolina, they will start their three seniors, Matt Doherty and Cecil Exum at the forward spot. Sam Perkins in the middle rather than Brad Doherty as they normally have with uh, Steve Hale in the point guard spot and Michael Jordan at the shooting guard position. Dan, what will be the aspect that we want to look at this afternoon in terms of the strategy for Mike Krzyzewski having to go most of the game with the three guards since Billis's uh, availability is questionable? Get a look at Mike Krzyzewski right there. This is really a big game for Duke. The thing with not having Billis uh, available, record against North Carolina, he has one victory over UNC. The thing about not having Billis available is that it reduces the flexibility that Krzyzewski has. He will probably go man to man as he usually does. And if anybody gets in foul trouble, the Blue Devils could have a problem because they have not gone that deep to their bench this year. Dean Smith, on the other hand, he now has 12, 25 win seasons at North Carolina. Past John Wooden in that department, Dean Smith now has more 25 win seasons than anybody else in the history of college basketball. And we are just set to get this game underway. Duke, not a bad road club, as you see. But they not had a lot good. of problems at Carolina. Not very successful at North Carolina. And there is the record of the North Carolina seniors, the best in ACC history. Sam Perkins has been in the starting lineup for 112 of those 114 victories. Carolina with the opening tap. Duke starts the game in the man to man. Exum on the Cecil Exum, the rarely used senior, gets the first basket of the afternoon, and that sends this capacity crowd into a mild frenzy. This is an interesting matchup here. North Carolina is going to do a lot of double teaming and trapping, and Amaker and Dawkins are both very good against that kind of pressure. David Henderson answers for the Duke Blue Devils. Henderson had a 20-point effort against Carolina in the game at Cameron Indoor. Rebound, Jordan. Ball loose on the floor and Duke controls. Somebody better find Cecil Exum. He had the first basket was all alone for that shot. Mahar tried to set the pick to get Dawkins free. Mahar with the ball in the lane. Good dish off to Allery. Great movement by the Duke Blue Devils. North Carolina is so effective in that trapping defense. And movement and good passing will beat that usual. Exum in the corner. Now to Perkins. As Duke plays that tough man-to-man. -man. Jordan around Henderson. Off the glass. No whistle. And we have got an offensive foul against Michael Jordan. Good step in by Dan Mahar to draw the foul. Interesting matchup. David Henderson matched up against Michael Jordan. Johnny Dawkins matched up against Brad Do or Matt Doherty. Get a look at the last meeting there. Duke in that game was ahead by five with five minutes left to go. But Kenny Smith scored 10 points in the final three minutes of the game as Carolina pulled it out. Kenny played 16 minutes against Georgia Tech, so he could see some action this afternoon for the heels. Dawkins had to adjust his shot. Get it over Perkins on the follow. Boy, Duke looks sharp early. They're moving the ball very well against the Carolina pressure defense. Steve Hale working against Amaker on the baseline. Door. Matt Doherty has a significant height advantage against Johnny Dawkins. The Carolina team went right to him on that occasion. Allery open on the wing. Rebound, C selects him for the heels. Steve Hale quickly into the front court for Carolina. Doherty now with a big advantage as they try and work inside to Jordan. Amaker came up with a loose ball, but they say it was on the baseline. Well, they had Matt Doherty at 6'8", paired up against Johnny Dawkins at 6'2", there as you look at Mike Krzyzewski calling out the defense. Going to get a change in the matchups now as Brad Doherty is going to come in the game. Cecil Exum is going to sit down. What a thrill for Cecil Exum, the senior who got the starting nod in his final game. He also scores the first basket for Carolina this afternoon. There was a very emotional introduction of the three seniors, and as we mentioned at the top, Cecil broke down and was crying. It shows you how much it has meant to this young man to be a part of the Carolina basketball program. 
Hale will trigger in the inbound. Duke in the zone on the out of bounds play. Doherty thought about the shot on the baseline, a little closer. Rebound, Jordan rejected from behind by Johnny Dawkins. Dawkins is only 6'2", Dan, but he gets off the floor. Michael Jordan doesn't get too many blocks. Johnny Dawkins, as you say, came from behind, had an excellent angle, was able to slap it away. Jordan will be the man this time to work the inbound pass. Johnny Dawkins and Brad Doherty got into it a little bit, and they're still after one another. 2-3 zone off the inbound play, as Dan pointed out a moment ago. That's pretty standard for most college clubs. They're a man-to-man -man team. They'll move into the zone off of an inbound play in the offensive end for the opposition. Perkins Sam Perkins is pretty tough from that spot against the zone, particularly when the guards are as small as Duke's guards are. Duke with good shooting here in the early going. They've hit three of five. Henderson has one of the baskets, make it two for the sophomore from Drury, North Carolina. Again, a four-point advantage, make it a two-point advantage, excuse me, for Carolina. And they will try and tie it up. Doherty doesn't get the basket, but he got the foul. Matt Doherty at the line to shoot a pair. Make that Brad Doherty, excuse me, on the year a 68% free throw shooter. Didn't get the roll on that one. There you look at the shooting percentages for North Carolina. Outstanding, to say the least. Brad Doherty gets his first point of the afternoon. Duke on top by a point. Quickly a three on two advantage, but broken up by Matt Doherty. Tough pass by David Henderson. A bounce pass is usually recommended in that situation, but something that we've seen early, Duke doing an excellent job breaking past the first double team, and when you do that, you're going to create some good situations inside. Dawkins and Henderson and Amaker, the three-guard offense out front against the Carolina zone. Good power move by Allery, but it wouldn't drop. Good power step by Allery. Carolina with a chance to take the lead. They led it two to nothing. But it has been Duke on top since that point in the opening minute. 16-20 to go here in the first half. Jordan on the move over Duke. Duke did a very nice job in the man-to-man -man defense, but Carolina worked at it, was very patient, and Michael Jordan got an excellent shot. Dawkins trapped in the double team. Good catch by Mahar. Henderson on the baseline. Three in a row for David Henderson. David Henderson, Mahar, Allery are going to be able to get shots like that, and the way Duke plays in the game will depend in great deal on how well they're able to shoot the ball because Amaker and Dawkins are doing a nice job against the press. Doherty tried to post up, but Jordan was there for the follow. Mike Krzyzewski's up off the bench claiming that Michael Jordan pushed David Henderson. Didn't get any sympathy from the men of the stripes. Usually does. Henderson makes the move around Doherty and makes it eight first half points. Duke, Duke has gotten a lot of easy shots early in the basketball game. Fifth lead change, make it six as Carolina regains the lead at 13 to 11 on the first field goal from Brad Doherty. Carolina hasn't exactly been shooting them from 30 either. That was a real nice play by Brad Doherty to get position inside. Dawkins all the way to the glass. It'll count and one more as Sam Perkins is called for the foul. There you see 19.2 for Johnny Dawkins. The leader on the year is Michael Jordan with 19.3. We've got time out on the floor. Duke on top of North Carolina, 15 to 13. We have seen some outstanding shooting here in the opening minutes, Dan Bonner. Duke 7 to 10, North Carolina 6 of 12. What we've seen is outstanding offense by both teams. They're reacting well to what their opponent is doing. They're getting good shots, and that's why the percentage is so high. Duke still in that tough man-to-man. -man. Buzz Peterson is in the ball game now. He is in the backcourt along with Steve Hale. And the Brad Doherty for the short turn around here tied at 15. Duke is trying so hard to help out inside against the likes of Michael Jordan and Sam Perkins that Brad Doherty is going to be available in there, and he's shown that he can hit that shot. Dawkins on the move. Henderson is open. Misses his first one of the afternoon. 
Doherty trying to lead the break, makes the move around Dawkins, finds a man open, and it's down to the slam. And a foul to go with it. It's going to be another foul against David Henderson. Once again, he's trying to help out in there, but he got his second blocking call of the game. Well, look at that one again. We're having a little bit of a monitor problem, but Dan, it was a great pass inside to Doherty for the slam. Brad Doherty showing you his ability to run the basketball court. One of the reasons why North Carolina is so effective is that their big guys do run the court so well. And on the end of that fast break, Brad Doherty doing a nice job getting down and getting inside position. Doherty with a chance to put point number eight up on the board. Carolina with their biggest lead of the afternoon at three. Duke's got to be very careful. They got to get, come down and get a good shot. They certainly don't want North Carolina to get one of their patented runs early in the game. Allery working against Brad Doherty. He had 29 against Clemson. Dawkins on the baseline. Boy, that's a tough move by Johnny Dawkins. He's just so difficult to guard. He's got that great quickness and that ability to stop and go up for that shot. Michael Jordan from outside. No Perkins with the rebound. Sam shown again why he's the all-time leading rebounder for the Carolina Tar Heels. Bergen's doing a nice job. Allery didn't get down the court quickly enough. Carolina in that trapping pressure, but two minutes a break. What a break indeed as the ball was deflected by Brad Doherty right to Mark Allery. Again, Duke cuts the marks into one. 13-15 to go in the first half. George from the baseline again. Michael's a little cold here in the early going. He'll try it again. Deflected by Mahar, but right to Doherty, and we have got a foul. Brad Doherty has been a regular visitor to the charity stripe here in the early going for Carolina. There's the shooter's touch right there. Nine first quarter, make it first half points for Brad Doherty. Four of, make it three or four at the line. Try and make it four or five here. He leads all scores with nine. And now we've got Joe Wolf coming into the ball game as well. Brad Doherty will get the breather. Carolina again kicks out to a three-point margin. Once again, Carolina is showing the full court pressure, and Duke does a nice job getting the ball to Amaker. Against this defense, Amaker and Dawkins have to handle the ball. Dawkins works around Jordan. Nice move to the hoop. There will be a goaltending call against Sam Perkins. Sam took it and swatted it back to half court, but Dawkins created the goaltending call by his good penetration to the basket. He rolled it up there and Perkins was too far under the basket. Johnny Dawkins now four or five on the afternoon with nine points. Doug McNeely has come into the lineup so Mike Krzyzewski has again gone to a three guard offense and defense with Anderson and Allery now along the baseline. And he switched his defense. Duke now showing a 3-2 zone. McNeely's going to play the top. Inside the Wolf, the ball deflected, but it comes back to Joe. Smith will fire from long range. Rebound Dawkins. Duke with a chance to regain the lead. Nice Inside pass. to Allery, and Mark just couldn't get a handle on it. But they say it went off of Joe Wolf after it went through Allery. The 9,000 plus referees in the stands disagree. So North, Car North Carolina will play the 1-3-1 zone against the out-of-bounds play. Duke with a chance to regain the lead. Dawkins in trouble, got it on the baseline to McNeely. He's double-teamed. Down low to Anderson. Not a real good pass, but Allery somehow came up with it and put it in. Dean Smith's up off the bench. He wanted a walk called against somebody, but Allery did a nice job. He didn't go down on the floor after the ball. And the fact that he kept his feet enabled him to get it when it squirted out. Tried to run the alley up to Jordan. They'll call the foul before the basket. Welcome back to Carmichael Auditorium. Jack Corgan along with Dan Bonnard. A 23-22 count Duke on top. And I guess the biggest difference has been uh, in the field goal percentages. Carolina getting more opportunities, Dan, but Duke taking a better advantage of the opportunities they have had. The key to the game so far has been the fact that North Carolina, as they usually do, has been attacking Duke 
with some full court pressure, with some traps. Duke, however, has reacted very well to it. They've gotten by the initial line of the defense, so they've gotten very easy shots inside. Duke in field goal shooting is 11 of 14, and that's the key stat in the game. Michael Jordan just two for eight here in the early going. An un-Jordan-like performance for the junior. Duke being very active in the 2-3 zone. It's Kenny Smith wearing a leather-like brace on that injured left wrist. Really cuts down on the mobility of his left thumb, we found out earlier. Good pass inside the Perkins. Duke does not play a great deal of zone, and sometimes when you don't play a lot of zone, it's difficult to guard all the mismatches that you have in a zone. That time, Hale found Perkins. We have had eight lead changes here in the first nine minutes of action. North Carolina showing a little bit more straight up man to man. Amaker working against Kenny Smith, a couple of very fine looking freshman guards. Good hustle that time by Steve Hale as he almost came up with the interception. Great job by Kenny Smith. You could see as the ball went inside first to Mahar and then to Allery, Smith left Amaker, went down and double team, forced the pass back outside. Good look by Mahar inside to Allery. A very well prepared Duke team. They're attacking North Carolina with almost surgical precision. Mahar waited for the double team and it was, when it was almost there, he threw the ball all the way across the court. Just an excellent play. David Henderson will come back in for Duke at the next opportunity. Steve Hale, who has picked up three assists already. Now to Kenny Smith. Duke in that 3-2 zone that they've shown on plays other than the out-of-bounds plays. Michael Jordan on the move. Boy, good aggressive defense by Duke. Gordy inside, and a shot affected by Allery, and Duke gets it away. Allery, for his size, does a great job blocking shots. Boy, another great move by Allery to not only get the catch, the basket, but also to draw the foul on Steve Hale. We talked about the ability of the North Carolina big guys to run the floor. The Duke big guys run the floor very well. Mark Allery behind the pack, Steve Hale, just really with nothing to do. I think he was trying to get out of the way and committed the foul. Nice job by the Duke Blue Devils. Johnny Dawkins pushing it up and Allery doing a great job getting down the floor. Mark five of seven in the ball game. Coming off a career best 29 points and 16 rebounds against Clemson on Wednesday. Allery has really come along as a player in the ACC. He's improved greatly as the year has gone on this year as he did last year. He's going to be one of the real fine performers in the league before he's through. Duke for the second time has a four point lead. Perkins missed connections on the alley oop. Sam actually got his hand caught on the rim. Henderson on the baseline. Good defense by Carolina. Steve Hale this time had the position. Got there, and that's why the charge was called. Pretty good call. And Jay Billis is in the ball game. Billis, who injured his shoulder in the closing moments of the Clemson game, seeing his first action of the afternoon for Duke. Now, this is interesting. Mark Allery comes out and is going to play the point on that 3-2 or 1-2-2 defense with Billis and Mahar playing inside. Steve Hale left hands it up and in for his first field goal of the afternoon. The sophomore from Jenks, Oklahoma, brings Carolina within a basket. Carolina, here they come with the traps again. Great job by Dawkins. Didn't pick up the dribble. Inside to Billis. He'll go to the baseline for Allery. Rebound comes loose to Jordan. They try and run a break. What a soft baby hook by Sam Perkins. Duke playing the 3-2 zone sort of very wide. Sam Perkins has been able to get open in the middle a couple of times. Our fourth tie of the afternoon. Amaker, good look inside to Billis. No problem with the shoulder there when you're slamming it home. What a pass. The Duke guard's just doing a tremendous job finding the open man. And against North Carolina with all the different defenses and the pressure that they give you, that's not an easy task. Jordan is thinking twice about the shot from outside, partly because Allery's there and also that he is two of eight right now. Doherty will take it over Allery. One problem that you create with having Allery out there is he's not available for help on the defensive boards, and North Carolina has really been doing a nice job on their offensive board. The way both clubs are shooting, though, Dan, there hasn't been too many defensive boards to be had. Interception by Steve Hale. And taken back by Amaker. What a defensive play for Duke. Dawkins. Offensive foul. The shot was rejected anyway by Matt Doherty. 
But Steve Hale did the job to draw gotta the look, offensive Got to look foul. at a heck of a defensive series. Hale is trying to get in front of Dawkins. He does. Nice job. Hale gets set. Doherty comes over and blocks the shot. Nice job by Steve Hale. We are tied at 30 with 7.58 remaining here in the first half at Carmichael. A good ball game. Stay tuned for more. There you look at some of the fans here at Capacity Crowd. Carmichael Auditorium just about every time a full house at Carmichael. They've been seeing a great game. 30-30 with 7.50 to go here in the first half. Now Duke goes back to the defense that they handle best man-to-man. -man. Dan Mahar a little over aggressive. And that's really a tough foul for Mahar in that situation. He tends to be foul prone. But in this game particularly with Henderson in foul trouble, Billis a little bit hurt. If Mahar is going to foul, it's got to be down inside. Michael Jordan was out momentarily. He comes back into the lineup. That foul on Mahar puts North Carolina into the bonus. As you look at Kenny Smith, there's a close-up of that apparatus he is wearing on his left wrist. It's a derivation of that uh, support that pro bowlers wear. Hale misses the one-and-one -one opportunity, but the rebound volleyball all the way out to Jordan. Good tap out by Brad Doherty inside. North Carolina continues to do well on the offensive boards. Boy, that amateur is an aggressive player. He's given Steve Hale his money's worth out front. Duke plays an aggressive, physical man-to-man, -man, and they're in it right now. On the baseline, Hale. Nice job by Steve Hale. Carolina regains the lead at 32-30 with 7-10 to go in the first half. Now North Carolina drops back into the 2-3 zone or the 1-3-1 zone, I guess. We're going to have Popson inside running the baseline, and Hale is going to be out pointing the ball. There you see the game clock in the lower right portion of your screen as Steve Hale comes down with the Duke miss. Carolina with a chance to pump out to their biggest lead of the afternoon. Doherty against Mahar gets it off to Jordan finally. Jordan and Dawkins, that's a pretty good matchup. There's Jordan on the baseline. He got in trouble inside and threw it away. Good defensive help by Duke. Michael Jordan got around Dawkins on the baseline. Sam Perkins comes back in the game. But Allery came over and gave good help. Jordan jumped off his feet, really had nothing to do with the ball. 6.38 remaining in the first half. David Henderson comes back in surprisingly for Mike Krzyzewski with the three personal fouls. A little bit of a gamble there for Coach K. Carolina remains in their zone defense. Henderson, of course, hit his first four field goal attempts. That's part of the reason he's in the lineup. Dawkins is cut off. He goes out to Amaker. Henderson with the rebound over Doherty. Yes. What That's penetration by Johnny Anderson. Dawkins. Amaker missed that jump shot, but the penetration by Dawkins drew the defense all to that area. So when Amaker missed the shot, there was nobody available to block out Henderson. We are tied at 32. Brad Doherty in trouble. Boy, just beat the five-second call. Mahar was what you call in Brad Doherty's face. He was right up against him. Michael Jordan against Johnny Dawkins. 15 on the shot clock. Matt Doherty in trouble on the baseline. Boy, good defense by Duke here, but Doherty gets around Mahar for the easy 10-footer. Left it a little shy. Inside, we have got a foul on Brad Doherty. But when you get these guys, so proficient at the game. They get that 10-footer. You expect them to make it just about every time. Like Matt pulled the string a little bit there, Dan. Duke came and gave good defensive help, made him change the shot. Hammer heard the pass inside to Dawkins. He gets it inside to Doug McNeely. Dawkins, what a great pass by Dawkins. Jordan the other way. Johnny Dawkins was a little late getting there, and Michael Jordan took advantage of it. Kind of foul that coaches hate as you look at Michael Jordan. He leads the ACC in scoring by a tenth of a point over Dawkins. Michael now with seven points on the afternoon. Carolina regains the lead at 35-34. <laughs> Dawkins is rejected, but somehow came up with the ball. What a catch, but not quite in by Allery. Duke did a great job getting up the court. Dor Brad Doherty blocked Dawkins' shot, but there were no North Carolina players back to help him out with the rebound. Brad Doherty inside to Perkins. And he 
is fouled by Doug McNeely. There's a little bit of the basketball resume of Sam Perkins. Look at some of those numbers. 58% from the field, 80% from the foul line. Of course, the all-time rebounder in AC in uh, Carolina basketball and the number two score. Now you think for a minute about all the people who have ever played Division I college basketball. This guy right here is only the 40th person to ever play Division I college basketball to reach the 2,000 rebound or 2,000 point 1,000 rebound plateau. A little extra spin, but the ball drops through, and Sam Perkins into double figures with 10 points on the afternoon. Perkins almost with an acrobatic steal. It is saved by Jordan, but to do. I can't believe Jordan got to that ball, much less got it back in bounds. Carolina didn't get it. Boy, that's some hustle by Jordan and Perkins. Amaker misfires and Brad Doherty with the rebound. Too far for Michael Jordan. But he was still off balance when he took the shot, and then as the pass went down to Jordan, it was over the wrong shoulder. Jordan couldn't catch up. Carolina on top by three. They've led by three on three occasions now in the first half. Dawkins inside, rejected by Perkins. Perkins almost knocked it through the backboard. Perkins will fire from long range. Rebound, Allery. McNeely will bring it into the front court. Good post move by Mahar. Left it short. He was influenced by Brad Doherty and Perkins with the rebound. Mahar a little tired. Didn't get up off the floor as well as he can normally. Duke's doing a lot of running up and down, and they haven't scored, and that's really tiring. Doherty from the corner. And inside, we're going to get a shove on Brad Doherty. Like the men, one of the best conferences in the country. you got to look at Dean Smith directing traffic. As Duke tries to cut the Carolina advantage. Dawkins might have gotten away with a carry. Mahar made a good pass to McNeely, but good defense by Kenny Smith. North Carolina does such a great job changing defenses and disguising defenses. We've seen him play straight up man-to-man. -man. We've seen him as Michael Jordan comes back in the game. We've seen him try to trap man-to-man -man full court. We've seen him play a couple of different kinds of zones. Duke, to this point, has done an excellent job recognizing. The double team, Duke is able to beat it. Dawkins misses. Boy, did McNeely get up in the air for the rebound. Double pumps, no. McNeely tries to keep it alive. Finally, Sam Perkins. Perkins couldn't grab the ball, so he kept bouncing it off the board till he got himself in position to grab it. What a great play. Jordan on the reverse, no. Rebound, Mahar. Duke has done a good job of thwarting the baseline moves of Jordan as Dawkins missed, but Allery was right there. Dawkins went in for the scoop shot, and Joe Wolf actually got a hold of the ball, banged it up off the board hard, but Allery was in good position for the rebound. Mark Allery with 13 points to lead all scorers. Keep in mind, he's coming off a great game on Wednesday. Jordan again misfires on the baseline. Duke that time went back to that 3-2 zone. Long lob to Allery. Might have got away with a walk. The official on the baseline said he had that foot planted. Carolina in the man-to-man. -man. Amaker, the reach-around foul on Kenny Smith. Sam Perkins going out, getting a break. Michael Jordan has had some good shots. That last one was an example. He just misfired. Duke again with their three-guard offense. McNeely, one of the guards in the corner. Allery, the turnaround will not count. They say Joe Wolf with the shove on the catch of the pass to Allery. 13 points. You see those numbers there. Top 10 in three different categories. I'm sure rebounding would be a fourth for Mark. It's amazing how many shots he blocks at his size. He's only six feet eight, but he really does a nice job as a shot blocker for the Duke Blue Devils. Over seven rebounds a contest in the 17 points a game. He is well <laughs> along towards surpassing that as Duke has regained the lead at 38-37. Allery already with 15 first half points as we near the two minute mark in the first half. Duke, as we mentioned, back in that 3-2 zone, they've had some trouble cutting off the middle and rebounding out of this defense. The back door to Wolf, he left it short, the follow, no, rebound, comes down to Allery. Dawkins against Jordan, what a matchup. Allery on the baseline. He's a little tired and made a dumb foul. Boy, how many times do you see that? As the season has progressed, he is from Kohler, Wisconsin. 
Too strong with the free throw. Dawkins away with the board. Boy, Dawkins can really handle the basketball. McNeely on the baseline. In and out to Perkins. Now Michael Jordan trying to deal on Amaker. Puts it over McNeely short. Rebound swatted out to Amaker. Michael Jordan, the shot was close, but it wasn't easy. He was moving. Amaker was right in his face, and he left it short. 112 to go in the first half. Duke on top by a point. Amaker cut off by Smith. Mahar down low to McNeely. He is in big trouble. He might have got away with an extra step. Uh, the Sam Perkins might have gotten away with the foul, too, so ends up even. 18 on the shot clock for Duke. We're down to 52 seconds in the first half. Now 10 on the clock as Billis is hounded by Wolf. Mahar, the five-footer. <laughs> Tipped by McNeely, no rebound and a foul. They called a foul on Doug McNeely, I believe, yes. Sam Perkins goes back to the line. Ten first half points for Sam in his final appearance at Carmichael Auditorium. He misses the free throw, but Joe Wolf kept it alive. Well, how did Wolf get that? I thought Phyllis had pretty good position inside, but Wolf slid away way nicely. Uncharacteristically, Carolina has missed their last three free throw attempts. Into Perkins. And Call a foul on Tommy Amaker. Carolina, being the second leading free throw shooting team in the country, has struggled for them a little bit at the free throw line. Perkins makes that one to tie the game. They are nearly an 80% free throw shooting team, which just is, is that's an incredible statistic. Of course, when you've got this guy shooting at nearly 86% from the line. Carolina is 8 of 12 at the charity strike, make it 9 of 13. As the Heels regain the lead with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Allery, no, but he'll get a blocking foul against Joe Wolf. Jay Phillips, a 62% free throw shooter. Connects. Carolina has seen Duke convert all five of their free throw attempts here in the first half. And Hank Nichols having a couple of words with Joe Wolf and Dan Mahar going after one another inside. Billis with the roll around and in has four and Duke regains the lead at 40 to 39 with 15 to go in the first half. Duke very aggressive in that 3-2 zone. Doherty looking inside for Perkins. Now the lob to Wolf who is all alone in front of the heart. Amaker will fire at the buzzer. He caught iron. And Dean Smith wants a foul. What a first half of basketball. Here at Carmichael Auditorium as the top-ranked Carolina Tar Heels lead one of their arch rivals, the Duke Blue Devils, 41 to 40. And here are the Hardys halftime stats as we are just about set to get underway with the second half. Good shooting by both clubs, obviously. Dan, the surprise has been the uh, poor shooting by Michael Jordan and uh, also by uh, Johnny Dawkins. Dawkins has done a nice job, though. He hasn't shot the ball well. He's only 4 of 10, but Duke has only three turnovers against the North Carolina pressure. North Carolina, the amazing status, quickly paced the game as this has been, only has four. And right on the inbound play, we get a turnover and a foul on Dan Mahar. North Carolina doing a nice job preventing Duke from getting the ball inbounds, and what a way to start the second half, huh? There were 44 turnovers, Dan, in the first meeting between these two teams, so both clubs doing a much better job of protecting the ball. I have to watch Michael Jordan and see how he plays in the second half. I think for the first time all year, I've seen him play a game where he was really out of control at a lot of stages in the first half. Sam Perkins outside. Perkins the leading scorer for Carolina in the first half with 12. Brad Doherty. It's his 12th point of the afternoon, and Carolina is out to a three-point advantage. Nice job by North Carolina. Good patience against the Duke man-to-man. -man. Boy, they beat the double team to Phyllis. How did Amaker make that pass? He was double teamed out at midcourt and threw a hook pass over top of Sam Perkins down inside to Phyllis. Amaker has done a great job. Steve Hale got away from Tommy Amaker and got the 
the ball to bounce around and fall through. Amaker turned his head. He was watching the basketball, lost sight of Steve Hale. Hale recognizing, going right to the basket. Six points for Steve Hale in the ball game. A three-point Carolina lead. Dawkins might have got away with a walk. Banks it in off the glass. A lot of bodies inside. I think Sam Perkins is wondering what's going on. 11 points for Johnny Dawkins. Looks like North Carolina is going to try, at least to start the second half, that trapping pressure at half court out of the man-to-man -man defense. Hale inside to Perkins. Good ball movement by Carolina. Perkins with the follow. Nobody blocked out Michael Jordan. Let's see who they give that basket to because both Jordan and Perkins were there. Sam Perkins will get credit for the basket. He's got 14 on the afternoon. Good give and go. Oh, my, some great passing. Jordan with the foul. It's just real hard, Jack, to block a shot without the referee calling the foul. About eight times out of ten, probably, the official is going to call a foul on that play because it looks like a foul. Billis misses the second one. That is the first miss in a free throw situation for Duke. Carolina leads by a pair. We are in the first minute of the second half. Nice job by Steve Hale, really pushing the ball up the court. Perkins on right wing. Mismatch now. Sam Perkins matched up against Tommy Amick. Jordan open for his first and second half. Good on balance jumper by Michael Jordan. He really needs to get going for North Carolina in the second half. Very under control so far. That four point advantage is the biggest lead of the ball game for Carolina. Dawkins just too quick for Steve Hale. What a move by Dawkins. Got by Hale and then glided right past Brad or Matt Doherty to avoid the charge. Jordan down low to Brad Doherty. The give and go to Jordan. Got control. No, they say player control foul. Michael Jordan. Tough pass by Brad Doherty, though. Jordan really wasn't open. It's a tough opportunity for Jordan, and he committed the foul. Dawkins into the front court. Duke looking to gain a tie. And a foul call against Johnny Dawkins as Steve Hale was sent skittering along the floor. Third personal on Johnny Dawkins. Even though, even though the score is very high, we've had a lot of points scored in the game. I think that's a credit to the offensive ability of these teams because there's some pretty good defense. Gordy inside. Had his shot affected once. Ball still loose. And finally, Tommy Amaker gets it. Ran into Dawkins, but maintained control of the ball. Dawkins working against Jordan, and now he'll back off. That pass. And Sam Perkins with the steal. Too far for Steve Hale, however. Steve goes up about six rows, visits with his mother and a few other fans that come back out and play. Had a couple of points in the game where it has looked a little sloppy, but then the teams recover and get back after one another. That was a little bit sloppy. Amaker and Dawkins were lucky to come up with the ball and bring it up the court, but then Sam Perkins overthrew an open teammate in Steve Hale. 16.40 to go in the game. Duke looking for the tie. They get it with Allery. It's the first time Allery's handled the ball in the second half. That is our 10th tie of the ball game. Jordan has to adjust his shot, but gets the perfect pass to Doherty. What a catch by Matt Doherty. Now, not only did he catch it, but he was able to get underneath the basket and lay it in. Carolina again by two. This time, Steve Hale did not beat Johnny Dawkins to the penetration point, and he is called for the foul to Sam Perkins did go to Michael Jordan so Michael with 11 in the game Perkins with 12. Carolina in the zone after the inbounds play underneath. Dawkins from 18 bingo. Johnny Dawkins with 15 we are tied at 51. 16 minutes to go in the game. Back door to Jordan. He is fouled and will get an opportunity for a three-point play. Just as aggressive as ever. 13 in the ball game. Make it 14 for Michael and a three-point North Carolina lead. 54 to 51. We'll be back with more basketball right after this. After a three for 11 performance from the field in the first half. Now North Carolina in the presence of Steve Hale showing a little bit of pressure full court. Johnny Dawkins doing a nice job to maintain his dribble. Good pass by Mahar. We are going to get a foul on Michael Jordan, and that is his fourth personal. And there's 15 minutes and 42 seconds left in the second half. 
That foul was created by Johnny Dawkins. Johnny Dawkins did not pick up his dribble against the double team and get himself in trouble as the double team came, created a situation where Jordan was out of position inside. Jordan sits down with 14 points and five rebounds. From outside, rebound Amaker after the Henderson miss. Henderson in the ball game for Billis. The jump hook by Henderson does not connect. That was not a good shot. Kenny Smith with the ball for Carolina. Little two-man play between Smith and Brad Doherty. They'll work at the other side to Doherty. Now that's Matt Doherty for 12. Yes. Duke never really looked like they got set in their defense. They were trying to play the man-to-man. -man. It looked like they were running around trying to find their men. North Carolina taking advantage and getting a five-point lead. This is the biggest lead that either team has enjoyed in the ball game. Henderson inside, and they're going to call an offensive foul on David Henderson. And drew the charge, and that's now four fouls on David Henderson. So both clubs with a player in some foul difficulty. Carolina with the ball and a five-point lead. And Carolina has spurted here. That's five points in a row. And we're just, we've, been, we've been sitting here the whole time waiting for one team or another to put it together for a little run. That might be enough. Not a good pass that time to Sam Perkins. Dawkins pulls up at the line and gets it to fall. Boy, he's such a good transition player. Really seems to be comfortable with the ball beyond the fast break like that. 17 points for Johnny Dawkins. He and teammate Mark Allery lead all scores. Duke back to that 3-2 zone now as McNeely has come in the ball game and Henderson is, not, is out. Now the lob for Perkins on the back door. Pressure. Allery trying to stop the pass in, but Perkins is called for the reach around. Well, there's a lot of time left in the game, Jack, and that's some pretty serious foul trouble. The inbound pass to Doherty for the shot that went awry, and Duke with a chance to close the march into one. Dawkins over Hale, good again. Johnny Dawkins has taken over for Duke. Duke down by five, is now back within one. Side to Perkins over Billis. Left it short. Rebound, Doug McNeely. Billis did a nice job keeping Perkins from getting around and forcing him to shoot that little jumper. Tommy Amaker cut off. Did a good job of holding the pivot foot. Dawkins from way outside. That was from downtown Durham. Dawkins felt it, and I think that's why he shot it. It was not a good shot. Smith on the run, off the catch, no. Brad Doherty touched the ball last. It will belong to Duke. 13-25 to go in the game. Looking right over the shoulder at Tommy Amaker as the Duke Blue Devils trying to regain the lead. That shot by Dawkins was his first miss of the second half. Baseline, back out to Billis. Boy, Jay is hesitant about the shot. Dawkins is not. Perkins with another rebound. Three on two break for Carolina. Matt Doherty. Somehow that ball didn't go in. What a great jump stop by Matt Doherty. He caught the ball, came right down to solidly positioned, but he just didn't get it to go in the basket. Tommy Amaker working against another freshman. Kenny Smith, he's in trouble. Billis open at the foul line. And a foul underneath. It's going to be against Brad Doherty. Doherty. And that's Doherty's third personal foul. Dawkins working around Matt Doherty. Oh, it made a nice pass to Allery, but Mark was going the other way. And there you see the foul situation. Both clubs with one man at four. And some pretty important people at three. Inside, Brad Doherty over Phyllis. No. Dawkins can't battle Joe Wolf, and the rebound stays with Carolina. Kenny Smith got in trouble, but got it off to Matt Doherty. Matt has had problems getting the ball to fall, and Carolina again sees Duke come away with the ball. I'll tell you what, Jack, there's really some battles going on inside. Every time the ball goes up on the boards, we hear about six or eight grunts. These guys look physically tired, Dan. There's 12 minutes to go in a game. It's, it's been an up and down game. I think this is the textbook definition of end-to-end -end basketball, so it's not surprising that they're tired. 11.59 remaining in the second half. 56 to 55, Carolina on top. First half went by, Duke with three turnovers, Carolina with four. We've already had more than that in the second half. I think it's a combination not only of the pressure, 
but also of the fact that the guy, these guys are getting a little bit tired. They've played very hard the entire basketball game. Duca hasn't substituted that much. What a catch. And Billis is tied up for a jump ball by Steve Hale. Nobody scored in a while. We've gone about two minutes and nobody has scored. Them. And that really tires you out. We said that in the first half. Running up and down constantly and not scoring any points really wears you out. Doherty, Hale, Kenny Smith, Joe Wolf, and Sam Perkins for Carolina. Kenny Smith with the long range jumper. The first basket of the afternoon for the freshman. Kenny Smith, as we mentioned earlier, had a big last couple of minutes of their first game to help out Carolina. McNeely, no rebound, Wolf. Boy, Amaker made a great pass. McNeely just couldn't get it to fall. And it wasn't a bad shot. McNeely was inside close. Perkins got a hand on the ball and kicked it out of bounds. It will still be Carolina's ball on the far sideline. There you see the concern on the face of Mike Krzyzewski. He knows that his team, that is Mike Krzyzewski, there you see Dean Smith. Krzyzewski's squad has stayed in the basketball game by taking advantage of opportunities. Steve Hale did not make a good pass to Sam Perkins. Dawkins to Amaker. And they'll reset. 11 minutes to go here in the second half. 58-55 Carolina. Dawkins from the corner. Dawkins, after hitting four, has missed four. Smith caught up in the air, but dishes it off to Doherty. Joe Wolf with the follow. Last couple of times down the court, Jack Duke has created some good shots, some good opportunities, but they've missed them, and Carolina is able to stretch out their lead to five points once again. And Carmichael is as loud as they've been since the opening of the ball game. Good pressure by North Carolina. McNeely against Doherty. They've got to get the ball in the hands of Allery. Dawkins will take it from outside. Not a good shot. Dawkins looks out of control the last couple of minutes. He's taken some tough shots and missed them. And we'll get a jump ball the other end, and it'll turn over to Duke on the alternate possession. That time, Kenny Smith put Steve Hale in a bad situation. You mentioned that Mark Allery has not touched the ball much here in the second half, but 15 points in the first half, just one basket in the second half, Dan. That's something Duke is going to have to work on. They are not getting in the ball. We'll have to see if that is just Duke's offense or Carolina's defense. Nice pass by Amaker. That's a big basket for Duke to find Billis all alone inside. I think it's a combination of both. Sam Perkins is matched up against Allery defensively for North Carolina, and he's done a good job so far in this half. You see the clock in the lower right of your screen. We are under the 10 minute mark. Inside to Wolf as he and Mahar is pushed and shoved. The rebound, Allery and Wolf, not a good foul. Really a battle going on inside. It's been very physical inside. Joe Wolf now with three personal fouls. Brad Doherty will come back in at the next stop and play for Carolina. Carolina back to the 1 3 1 zone now. Once again, they're switching defenses. Duke has to recognize. Anderson picked up the dribble, but was able to get it off to Amaker. Looking inside, and they can't find anybody. Mahar on the baseline, 15 on the shot clock. Good zone by North Carolina. The guys have their hands up and they're active. Shot clock now under 10. Amaker on the baseline. Up Allery, he looks up at the scoreboard. Henderson will fire the long jumper at wow. With five seconds on the shot clock, David Henderson, he's got 12 in the ball game. It's a 16-foot jump shot. Good shot for Henderson. North Carolina played well in the zone, but Duke finally wore him down. Carolina's going a long time with Michael Jordan on the bench with four personals. Smith misses the rebound. Whacked off the face of Dan Mahar. I don't know if it was the ball or a hand that caught Danny in the face. I think it was Matt Doherty's hand. It wasn't an intentional play. Doherty had his hand in there, but this is an extremely aggressive rebound that Mahar is going to pull down. Smith with the jump shot. Mahar is going to come into your picture from the right. Pulls it down. Matt Doherty hit the ball and knocked it into Dan Mahar's face. Look at it again from another angle. As you see, nice block Matt Doherty trying Billis. to work on the inside, and the Spalding caught Dan Mahar right on the bridge of the nose. He is being attended to down below. Boy, that really hurts. You get, you get hit in the nose like that, and your eyes just water up, and you can't open your eyes for a couple minutes. That's very painful. Looks like he'll be all right, though. It's better to get hit with the ball if you get clipped there in the nose by somebody's hand. It's a possibility you could break that. Danny Mahar, a Canadian from St. Catharines, Ontario, just outside of Toronto. 
Let's get back under control. Pressure on the inbound pass. It comes into Henderson. Working against Matt Doherty. He'll get it over the timeline. Michael Jordan still on the bench for Carolina with the four personal fouls with 8.20 to go in the game. Henderson is on the floor with four personals for Duke. 60 to 59. Duke trying to regain the lead. Carolina trying to come up with a victory to get only the sixth unbeaten ACC regular season club. What a block from behind by Brad Doherty. Billis was able to get around. Billis gets around Doherty. Doherty's standing straight up in the air. Billis recognizes and goes around him, but Brad Doherty does a nice job keeping his body away from Jay Billis and knocking it away from behind. Billis works around Doherty. Oh pass to Lowry. He passed that right underneath the legs of Sam Perkins. What a pass. And Duke has regained the lead at 61 to 60, and that will get Michael Jordan up off the bench for Carolina. Perkins nearly triple team as they try and go low to him. Back door to Hale on the baseline. Now the lob to Doherty. Shot, tough shot by Brad Doherty. Stayed on balance, but Allery was right in his face. 19 lead changes in the ball game. 62-61, Carolina. 7.25 to go in the game. Offensive foul on Tommy Amaker. Mike Krzyzewski cannot believe it. He'll have some time to talk about it. We have time out of the floor. Carolina leading Duke. 62 to 61. 725 remaining in the game. North Carolina with the ball and the lead. Shot clock is going to be turned off in four minutes, of course, and I think with the Duke Blue Devils, the position they want to try to be in is to be ahead of North Carolina at that point in the game. North Carolina in some foul trouble. There's no doubt in my mind that they're going to go to that four corners of theirs as soon as they get the opportunity. Michael Jordan with the ball right there. He's got four personal fouls. David Henderson with four for Duke. Both players on the floor right now. Both teams with their original starting lineups in the game. Duke back in that 3-2 zone. Ball out front comes loose to Duke. Oh, very nearly a double dribble by David Henderson. Dean Smith and the North Carolina bench were up asking for just that call. Carolina in the man-to-man. -man. Danny Mahar back in the ball game. Inside, Henderson somehow got it up and in. Good tough move by David Henderson. He had excellent position against Matt Doherty. He was able to force it up over top of him. Duke has regained the lead with 6.25 to go in the second half. Jordan on the baseline. Jordan has been open in that particular spot against that Duke 3-2 defense all night long. Finally got one to go down. 16 points for Michael, nine in the second half. His first basket after sitting down for nearly eight minutes in the second half. A bad lob pass, but it still came to a Duke player as Amaker was trying to get Dawkins on the alley-oop. Seen some interesting plays on passes in this game. Anderson picked up the dribble, but got it free to Dawkins. Good pass to Allery. The block by Perkins, but the foul by Perkins. Dan Bonner, Sam Perkins has not scored in the second half and has taken only one shot. Allery is now a perfect four of four at the line. He leads all scores with 20 points. We are tied for the umpteenth time this afternoon. I can't keep track of it, 64 all. Allery regains the lead for the Duke Blue Devils. North Carolina getting the ball up the court very quickly. Duke still in that 3-2 zone. Steve Hale looking inside the alley of Jordan. Want to know why Sam Perkins doesn't have any shots in the second half? It's because Duke has been concentrating on him, trying to keep the ball away. Now that Michael Jordan's back in the game, North Carolina has found a weakness. That's two in a row for Michael, and that was a tremendous looking play. Henderson moved around Perkins, but Sam got back to cut him off. 5.05 to go in the game. Carolina by a point. Amaker forces it up, no, but is fouled by Steve Hale. Michael Jordan was 3 of 11 from the field in the first half. He is 5 for 5 in the second stanza. The freshman, Tommy Amaker from Falls Church, Virginia, scores his first point as you look at the foul situation for Steve Hale. Ambecker's first point of the afternoon, an important one, as he knots the score at 66. Oh. And it remains at 66. 
Now, unless North Carolina shoots the ball very quickly, this should be the last possession in the game where the shot clock will be on. Jordan thought about the shot. Steve Hale gets it in to Brad Doherty. Brad Doherty was 16. The shot clock is now off. Four minutes, 35 seconds left in the game. North Carolina goes back to the 1-3-1 zone. Steve Hale with nine assists this afternoon. Carolina has not missed a beat when he replaced Kenny Smith, Johnny Dawkins with 21 now in the afternoon. Now it'll be interesting to see what strategy North Carolina is going to employ. The game is tied. Duke is in his own defense. Shot clock is off. It was 41 to 40 in intermission. The biggest lead for either club was a five-point advantage enjoyed on two occasions by Carolina in the second half. David Henderson has just fouled out of the ball game with 4:03 remaining in the game. David played another good ball game, had to step into the starting lineup because Jay Billis is at less than 100% with a shoulder problem. Jay will replace him. Sam is four or five at the line. Next possession will be a big one for the Duke Blue Devils. They really need to keep pace. I don't think they can afford to drop too far behind with only four minutes and three seconds left in the ball game. Sam Perkins is the picture of concentration. He's going to be set exactly the way he wants to be for the free throws, but that time it didn't work anyway. Good blockouts inside by Billis and Allery. There wasn't a Carolina player in the area. So Duke will have a chance to take the lead here with 3.50 to go in the game. Billis working against Brad Doherty. Amaker against Jordan. That's a mis mismatch. Now he's in trouble. Dribbled his way out of it. The pass to Mahar. Hale stripped him of the ball, but I think Hale got the foul. No, Hale did not get the foul. I think Hank Nichols is saying that it was an inadvertent whistle. Well, we're going to get a timeout here in any event. 3.39 to go in a game. Carolina leading by a point, 69 to 68. We'll be right back. 3.39 to go in the game. North Carolina on top of Duke, 69 to 68. Jack Corgan along with Dan Bonner. We'll have to gauge uh, right now, Dan, what Dean Smith is going to do. Will he move out to the four corners, try and protect Michael Jordan with the four personal fouls? Both clubs with three timeouts remaining, so not really too much of a factor in that regard. No, it's not a factor, at least it's not at this time. Duke. Three minutes and 39 seconds, they're down by one point. North Carolina has the ball. You can see Henderson is fouled out of the game. Michael Jordan with four fouls. Group of other guys, including Dawkins and Allery, with three. Be interesting to see. Duke now comes out in the man-to-man -man defense. It looks like they're going to try to pressure the ball. This is an interesting matchup. Lahar, I don't think, really can guard Matt Doherty out at that point on the floor. Doherty to Perkins in the corner, and yes, they have gone to the spread offense. 3.20 to go in the game. And that's where the loss of Henderson really hurts the Duke Blue Devils. They don't have anybody to match up with Matt Doherty. And we're going to get a five-second call. Sam Perkins did not make enough penetration against Mark Allery. And Dean Smith is up, and he's really mad. And Mike Krzyzewski has called a timeout. 3.14 to go in the game. Carolina 69, Duke 68. Welcome back to jam-packed Carmichael Auditorium. 69-68, North Carolina leading, but Duke has the basketball. And Dan Bonner, will we see Mike Krzyzewski perhaps hold the ball for the last shot? Dean Smith has got to consider that possibility. Well, there's always that possibility. There was a recent ball game between Syracuse and Boston College at Boston College where Syracuse held the ball for the last two minutes and 30 seconds of the game, down one point and finally got one and scored. I think, though, what Mike Krzyzewski is doing is making sure that the, Blue, do the Duke Blue Devils get down and get a good shot. They get the inbound pass into Mahar and back to Amaker. There's Carolina coming with the trap again. And once again, Amaker does a tremendous job not letting himself be trapped. Amaker working against Michael Jordan. Jordan, remember, has four personal fouls, so he cannot be too aggressive. Carolina in the man-to-man -man defense. Dawkins on the baseline, offensive foul, Johnny Dawkins. And that's the one thing that Coach Mike Krzyzewski did not want. He's not very pleased with the call, but it looked like a good call. They were trying to set up a clear out for Johnny Dawkins. He's got the side cleared for him. He's going to try to penetrate past Steve Hale. It's a tough call. 
It's always the tough one to call. There are both players moving on the baseline. And here's Carolina in the four corners. This is why Mike Krzyzewski wanted to get a good shot down at the other end. Duke wanted to be ahead by one as opposed to down by one, but they create the turnover. The defense by Allery. The, the break is almost foiled by Carolina, but Allery did the smart job to get the ball back. 2.20 to go in the game. Carolina by a point. Allery from 17. Rebound. Lost, but it comes out to Hale. Hale with a one-on-three holds up and gets it back out to Matt Doherty. 2.05 nice. to go in the game. Nice patience by Hale. Perkins misses, but Billis for the foul. Duke had two opportunities to go up by one point, and North Carolina foiled both of them. Sam Perkins playing his final game at Carmichael Auditorium. Well, you look at the Carolina bench, a couple of the youngsters perhaps trying to take a cue from this guy. What a career. The last three Carolina points have come at the foul line. It's a big possession for the Duke Blue Devils now. They're down by three points. They almost have to score. 71-68 with 1.55. You see the clock in the lower portion of your screen. North Carolina is actually one, running a diamond in one defense. Hale is guarding Johnny Dawkins man-to-man. -man. The other four fellas playing zone. See how Duke reacts to this. Dawkins inside, fed it off to Mahar, forced up the shot. Phyllis goes up, no, but he was fouled by Brad Doherty. Boy, that could have been a big play if that ball goes down. Now Jay Billis is going to have to go to the line to get two points. Billis, only about a 63% free throw shooter, and these are some big free throws he's got here. It's a two-shot opportunity. Buries the first one, 71 to 69. There you see Brad Doherty, four personals on Brad. And a couple of fellas from Carolina with four personal fouls. David Henderson is gone for the Blue Devils. The sophomore from Rolling Hills, California, bangs the second one in, and again, it is a one-point ball game. 135 to go in the game. Carolina will spread it out. Duke has good quickness. Matched up against Carolina at all spots except that Mahar Matt Doherty matchup. Boy, Hale almost got trapped. Did not make a great pass, but Sam Perkins was there for the play. Jordan, no. Rebound, Dawkins. And now Duke will take a timeout. Michael Jordan has come on in the second half. He's got 18 points. Sam Perkins has 15 points. A lot of real strong play in this ball game. 111 to go in the game. Duke has one timeout remaining. Now you have the very distinct possibility that the Blue Devils may hold the ball for one shot in this situation. North Carolina doing a nice job coming out and attacking defensively. And they're going to call an offensive foul on Tommy Amaker against Michael Jordan at center floor. Let's look at that one again. North Carolina always attacking defensively. Amaker so concerned about Michael Jordan. I don't think he saw Brad Doherty and, or Matt Doherty until he stepped into him. That looked like a pretty good call. The foul on Amaker is his third, a Boy, big defensive play. Every time Duke has had the opportunity here at the end of the game to take the lead, North Carolina has forced a turnover. Carolina is 45 seconds away from becoming only the sixth ACC club to go through the regular season unbeaten. We have not had one since 1974, the NC State Wolfpack. 30 seconds to go in the game. Perkins loses the ball to Dawkins. Dawkins has the ball stripped by Michael Jordan. What a great defensive play by Johnny Dawkins. He steals the ball, gets down the court, but Michael Jordan is able to knock it away. Here you see Dawkins coming down the court. Jordan really straining, chasing him. Gets the ball right there just before Dawkins is able to put it up. What a great play by Johnny Dawkins, but a great layup saving play by Michael Jordan. And now, it'll be Duke's ball out of bounds underneath the basket. We'll have to see if North Carolina goes to the man-to-man. -man. It certainly looks like they are. And as you said, Dan, no timeouts remaining. So Mark Allery has got to get this ball in. He'll lob it way outside to Dawkins, working against Michael Jordan. Dawkins down low to Mahar. Allery is open underneath. Allery puts it up. Yes, and a foul to go with it. 
Boy, that is a big basket by Mark Allery. He got loose inside. Duke moved the ball around very well once again. That's something that has probably been the key to this game for the Blue Devils, their ability to move the basketball. Billis, nice bounce pass into Allery. The fake gets put by both Perkins and Jordan. You get the foul call, the ball's going in the basket. Allery's got an opportunity now to give Duke a two-point lead. This is a big, big free throw. Mark Allery with 23 points on the afternoon. The foul went on Sam Perkins, make it 24. And now Carolina needs a basket for a tie. 15 seconds to go here in the second half. Duke Michael zone. Jordan on the baseline. No foul away from the ball. The foul's against Brad Doherty. I do believe they finally caught him for knocking down Danny Mahar, but that is a very good foul. Because it at least stops the clock, and by the fact that Danny Mahar is not one of the best free throw shooters, 65% on the year. Look at the replay again. Good they shot by Steve line. Hale. Good shot by Hale. Boy, if we get one more look at that, if we get a chance. Watch Brad Doherty. He looks like uh, one of the guys from championship wrestling. <laughs> Watch him throw Danny Mahar to the floor. Unfortunately, no, there's Brad Doherty. He is fouled out. That timeout called by North Carolina. They're going to set something up now in the event that Dan Mahar missed. Duke is 5-1 and one on the road this year. They may be with the exception of Carolina. They'll tie Carolina as the best road team if they can hang on for the victory. These are going to be some big free throws by Mahar. It's a one and one. 65% free throw shooter. The junior has not scored in the game. And still has not scored. Sam Perkins calls time with seven seconds to go. In now Sam the Perkins half. was fumbling around with the basketball trying to call the timeout by making the hand sign. He doesn't need to make the hand sign to call the timeout. All he needs to do is call for the timeout. So they lost maybe one extra tick of the clock. They've got seven seconds here in regulation. That's plenty of time to get the ball up the court and get a good shot. It'll be interesting to see what Dean Smith sets up here. He's still got one timeout remaining. There's a, you've, got a, you've got a couple of different theories about this. If Duke is going to put some pressure on full court, if North Carolina can get the ball in past the first defensive man, maybe they'll just run the ball down the court and take the first shot available. I think if they get the ball in in difficult position and Duke is back and set defensively, you may see North Carolina bring the ball into the half court area and call the last time out. Kenny Smith has come back into the ball game for North Carolina. We have got Joe Wolf, Sam Perkins, Matt Doherty, Michael Jordan, and Kenny Smith. Tommy Amaker, Johnny Dawkins, Mark Allery, Dan Mahar, and Jay Billis for Duke. Doherty dribbling it all the way down the floor. Puts it up and, in. and we are going to overtime. Boy, what a basketball game. <laughs> Unbelievable. We're going to overtime. You are Matt Doherty. You are playing your final home game of your collegiate career. Your team is down with seconds to go. You decide you're going to do it yourself. Michael Jordan was covered. Doherty actually fumbled the ball there. You can see he's fallen away. The ball still goes in the basket. Kenny Smith raising his fist. What a great shot by, Brad, by Matt Doherty. Now in the overtime, you've got Michael Jordan with four fouls. Brad Doherty is fouled out of the game. The opening tap is controlled by Carolina. This is the first overtime game of the year for Carolina. This is the third OT affair in the last five games for Duke. They are 2-0 in OT, knocking off Wake Forest and NC State in back-to-back -back games. Duke has been playing close basketball games all year. 11 of their last 12 games have been decided by five points or fewer. Joe Wolf misses the one in the lane, and the rebound, Jay Billis. Duke has one more timeout to get another timeout for the overtime. North Carolina has another one also, so they've got two. Now Duke looks like they're going to spread the floor and try to hold the ball a little while, create an easy opportunity. Keep in mind, Johnny Dawkins has four personal fouls for Duke. North Carolina in the man-to-man -man defense. This is a long time to hold the basketball. Duke has not looked at the basket yet. I think if Dawkins or Amaker gets an opportunity to penetrate by, we'll see them do that, but up to this time, they have not. A little bit of a mismatch as Doherty was on Dawkins. Now they settle back down again. Joe Wolf now will come out and put a little pressure on Jay Phyllis. If you're Duke, you want the ball being handled by Allery, by Amaker, and by Dawkins. 
Mallory working against Sam Perkins. They look for the double team. On the baseline, Amaker going to the hoop. First point of the afternoon, or make it the first basket of the afternoon for Tommy Amaker. Great patience by the Duke Blue Devils. They spread out the floor, they wait until they had the layup, and then they cast it in. Duke back to that 3-2 zone with Allery playing the point of it. You saw the clock in the lower portion of your screen. Under 3.15 to go in overtime. Jay Billis just gave Sam Perkins a shot. And there's Michael Jordan with a big hoop. Michael Jordan with 20. Look for North Carolina, I think, to try to put a little bit more pressure on against the Blue Devils. They'll probably try to double team if they get the opportunity. Under three minutes in the extra session. Long lob cross court to Jay Billis. Billis could be their outlet man on the passing because Joe Wolf has had some problems. Billis misses the five footer. The rebound, here comes Jordan for Carolina. Three on two. Jordan stripped by Amaker. Great defensive play on both ends. Jay Billis was going for the layup, but Joe Wolf got back and made him shoot the short jumper. And then Michael Jordan was going up for the shot. Great tip away by Tommy Amaker. 2.25 to go in overtime. We are tied at 75. It was 41-40 at halftime. 73-73 at the end of regulation. Joe Wolf is hanging back in the middle of the lane, really letting Jay Billis catch the ball outside. Here's the double team. They get it off to Dawkins. 2.05 to go in overtime. Duke should really try to stay away from the sidelines because I think that's where Carolina is going to look to come with the double team. Perkins has to come way outside on Allery, and there is Billis. Dribbles away from Perkins. We are under two minutes. 1.50 to go in overtime. Perkins. Ball knocked out of bounds by Sam Perkins. North Carolina and with the timeout. We will get a timeout with 1.47 remaining here in overtime. We are still deadlocked. Carolina Duke at 75 all. Back with more right after this. 75 to 75, 147 remaining in overtime. Let's take a look at the great defensive play by Tommy Amaker. Possibly the biggest defensive play of the game. Michael Jordan has shot written all over his face, takes the ball in strong. Amaker stripped it away. Great defensive play by Tommy Amaker. Now, North Carolina called the timeout. That was not a Duke timeout. And I think maybe what Dean Smith did was change, was change what he wanted to do defensively, give Duke something different to look at. That dead ball created by Sam Perkins tipping the ball away created the opportunity for Dean to change his scheme. And here you can see we've got the strong double team. Boy, Mahar got himself in trouble. And Amaker loses the ball to Steve Wolf. Wolf trying to dribble it, and it comes to Dawkins. Boy, the Some Carolina there. bench is going berserk. I thought Hale had the ball, but he fell down. Now there's an over and back. That's an over and back. Not a good pass by Johnny Dawkins. Boy, I'll tell you what, Johnny Dawkins and Tommy Amaker have done so well this entire basketball game against the North Carolina pressure. The last two times, Amaker almost got it stolen by Hale, and then Dawkins threw the bad pass in the backcourt. The North Carolina pressure, I guess, just eventually gets to you. Now, North Carolina is going to spread it out in the four corners. They're going to look for the easy shot. There you see the clock. Under 120 to go here in overtime. We are tied at 75. Each club with a basket in the extra session. Kenny Smith down the lane. Jordan on the drive. Second basket in OT for Michael Jordan. Well, now that's obviously the opportunity they wanted to create. North Carolina dropping back. Looks like they're going to go back into the zone defense. That was the 25th lead change of this basketball game. Johnny Dawkins looking over at the bench for instructions. Inside to Allery, and they say Sam Perkins shoved him. Boy, Allery's going to go to the line with 45 seconds left for a pretty big one-and-one -one opportunity. Watch it again. Allery really wants the ball inside. What a great catch. It was actually a bad pass. Allery turned into the basket, gets fouled by Sam Perkins from behind. Looked like they could have called it on Matt Doherty as well. These are some big free throws for Mark Allery. 24 points in the ball game for Mark Allery. Six of six at the foul line. Doug McNeely has come into the ball game now for defensive purposes. They'll put Danny Mahar down. McNeely's in the game. If Allery misses the free throws, Duke is going to need the defense. If Allery makes the free throws, then they're going to drop back in the zone anyhow. A one and one. The first one is perfect. 
I think Duke is anticipating that North Carolina is probably going to call a timeout to set up the last shot and when they do then the Duke can get Mahar back in the game. Big free throw for Mark Gallery. He got a both. Boy, that's that's shooting some free throws under pressure. That is the 16th tie of this ball game. North Carolina going to set up the four corners. Kenny Smith almost lost the ball. Gets it into Perkins. Don't need to set up the last shot of the game. Nice penetration by Kenny Smith. You can see how valuable he is to the North Carolina Tar Heels. Hasn't played much the whole game, but down here in the crunch, he's in there. 17 points for Sam Perkins. Would that be a just a poetic justice if he scores the game winner? Dawkins from way outside. Rebound, Billis. 10 seconds to go in the OT. Dawkins, how did he get up? What a shot. How did he get to hit in the basket? Five seconds. And we've got a timeout called by Carolina with four seconds to go in the game. In the first overtime, I should say. <laughs> That's true. We don't know how long we're going to be here. We will be back for the frantic final seconds. 79 to 79. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Carmichael Auditorium. Here is the shot that has regained the tie for the Duke Blue Devils. First the miss by Dawkins. Bill is doing an excellent job getting the rebound. It was a long rebound, and now you're going to see Dawkins with just a circus move inside. He was almost back down on the floor, penetrating inside the defense. North Carolina called a timeout right at midcourt. Four seconds left in the basketball game. Mike Krzyzewski has, a, has had a chance to set his defensive strategy. Dean Smith has had a chance to set his offensive strategy, and you better believe that guy we just saw in the picture is going to be part of it. Duke with one timeout left, North Carolina with one timeout left. Four seconds remaining. Jordan has four of the six points in overtime for Carolina. Sam Perkins with the other basket. There's Jordan from 20. No, and we're going to go to double overtime. Michael Jordan actually had lost control of the basketball. That's obviously the play that North Carolina wanted to run. Michael Jordan had an opportunity with another couple dribbles to get closer to the basket, but he didn't have time to do it. Good pressure by the Duke defense. It was a late throw into Jordan. Now here's Jordan, but he sort of fumbles the ball right there. And he's a little bit off balance as he goes up to shoot. Gets a good shot off under decent pressure by Johnny Dawkins. The ball hits the side of the board. Not any time for, the, for a rebound. There wasn't any opportunity for a rebound. You see the clock in the lower right-hand corner. Is a kick to the floor with one second left. Maybe Steve Hale would have had a chance if the ball would have hit him as he was moving by. But well, the ball's got to hit the rim in a situation like that. And what Dean Smith did by bringing Michael Jordan over to the corner was clear out the side down there. He had a good mismatch for the offensive rebound. Joe Wolf was down in there battling Doug McNeely. And I think had the ball hit the rim, North Carolina was in pretty good position. But Jordan fumbling the ball as he tried to stop his dribble and get set for the shot, threw the shot off so it hit the side of the board. To show you how well balanced the Atlantic Coast Conference is this year, Dan, I got to believe that just about Carolina's been the only club in the conference that has not had more than one overtime game this year. It seems like every time you turn around, it's another extra session fair in the ACC this season. The interesting thing about this game, it's been a great game, but we were saying in the middle of the second half how tired the players must be. They've got to be even more tired now. You just saw Mike Krzyzewski wipe his brow. He looks like he's been working pretty hard this evening as well. There is Dean Smith. Now number four, lifetime winning percentage among college coaches behind Claire B, Adolph Rupp, and John Wooden. This year, Dean passed three, play, uh, three coaches, including the legendary Fog Allen. He has won 77% of the games he has coached at Carolina. Boy, nice job by Doug McNeely to not go into the backcourt. Amaker working against Hale in the lane, forces the shot. The ball, you can see they're tired. That ball off the rim came to the floor. That was a real tough shot. I think Amaker didn't realize that he was in there against that much defensive pressure. Jordan looking inside, kicks it to Hale. Now to Perkins down low. And well, Tommy Amaker and Mark Allery think it's Duke's ball, but John Clockard, he saw it differently. John hesitated a little bit, and Mr. Allery and Mr. Amaker doing a little bit of negotiating, but now there are three other fellows out there that have to be a little tired. It's tough on the officials. The alley-oop for Jordan that goes in the foul. He actually 
was not a handle the catch. It was not a real good alley-oop pass. Jordan had a tough time catching the ball, but I believe they're going to get Amaker for running into him. Here's the pass by Hale. Now it's Billis trying to get up there and get it. Jay Billis with his third personal. You'll watch it again. You know, Michael Jordan, I don't think he jumps. He flies. My goodness. I, I have to apologize. I said he missed, missed caught, mishandled the catch. Actually, he adjusted to it. It was not a very good alley-oop pass. He, instead of trying to catch it and dunk it down, he actually tipped it in. Now, Dean Smith's yelling out some defensive instructions. This is the first three-point lead that either of these teams have had in the overtime sessions. 4.15 to go in the second OT. Big D possession for Duke. Dawkins against Steve Hale. That's Billis double team. Dawkins from way outside. Yes. What a big basket. Johnny Dawkins has made a couple of big shots. 25 points for Johnny Dawkins, 25 points for Michael Jordan, and Mark Allery with 26 to lead all scores. Doherty against McNeely, all the way to the glass. Perkins in the foul. What a big rebound, but I think he tripled him on the foul. No, he's getting a foul against McNeil. Doug McNeely called for the foul, his third. Let's look at it again. Awfully tough shot by Matt Doherty. Pretty good help. By Mark Allery, there Perkins with one tip, tips it across the board, gets the rebound, the foul called right there on Doug McNeely. McNeely will sit down, Dan Mahar will come back in, Sam Perkins with 17 points will go to the foul line. Sam is seven of nine, make it eight of 10 at the line. John Madry with all the numbers again. 18 points for Sam up on the offensive boards, and they've done a nice job here in the overtime sessions on the offensive boards. The important free throw for senior Sam Perkins. Michael Jordan is dancing around down in there like a swimmer ready to die. The last three points have come at the line for Carolina. That's the difference in the game. 335 just about right now in overtime. Michael Jordan is a very dangerous defender in a situation like this because he's got the license to go out for the steal, so Amaker's got to be aware of Jordan leaves it. Allery on the baseline, over Wolf, around and in. Boy, a tough shot by Allery. We have seen some clutch basketball shooting in this game. I'll tell you what. 84-83, Jordan around Dawkins. Throws it back outside. Dawkins was trying to get the offensive foul. Dawkins asking for the offensive foul. That's a pretty good matchup, Dawkins and Jordan. Keep in mind that Dawkins and Jordan both have four personal fouls. Very dangerous pass by Matt Doherty. Steve Hale against Amaker inside the Perkins over Allery. <laughs> Mentioned earlier that Sam Perkins, there was a point in the second half where he hadn't scored and had only taken one shot. Comes down to the end and they're going to Sam and he's producing. Sam has got six points in the overtime. Dawkins from outside, no. Mahar keeps the rebound alive, but Perkins comes away with it. Guess who? Sam big Perkins. Offensive rebound, couple of big free throws, big basket, now he pulls down a big, big defensive four. Four points in the second extra session for Perkins. Doherty, the other senior out on the floor. Jordan brings it back outside. 2.10 to go in the overtime. Perkins on the has scored six points in a row. Great pass by Jordan. Amaker walks with a basketball. Good call. They are going crazy here in Carmichael. 156 remaining in the second overtime. Carolina to a five-point advantage. We'll be back right after this. Three, 156 to go in the game. If this guy is the player of the year, the guy at the other end should also be player of the year. You have two All-Americans making a big play, giving Duke a five-point lead. Now Perkins is going to come down. He runs into Jay Billis. Now look right here. This is a guy who's been accused of not being aggressive enough in his career at North Carolina. Certainly he and Jay Billis both appeared to be aggressive right there. 23 points in the game. Smith almost had problems getting that ball in. Duke's got to get the ball right away. There's still time. There's a minute and 50 seconds left in the game. 
Here we have this matchup again that Duke just is having a tough time with. Give and go, Jordan will back it outside again. Duke will have to start fouling pretty soon, but it really cannot be Dawkins because he's got the four personals. They probably should put Kenny Smith on the line, although they are all good free throw shooters out there for Carolina. Smith lost the ball, but managed to swat it over to Jordan. Jordan in trouble. He is fouled by Emmett. Got a chance to see some excellent ball handling by the University of North Carolina. Duke players are very tired. These guys have been out there a long time playing very hard. Just could not put the kind of pressure on North Carolina that they needed to take the ball. Now Michael Jordan and Tommy Amaker shake hands. Duke will see Steve Hale come back into the lineup for Carolina as the defensive replacement. Kenny Smith, who did the job ball handling, re returns to the Carolina bench. 25 points from Michael Jordan was 3 for 11 from the field in the first half. The 6'5 junior from Wilmington, North Carolina. 89-83. All the points in overtime for Carolina have been scored by Perkins and Jordan. They are really some kind of basketball players showing their medal in the second overtime of a real tough basketball game. Amaker's pass almost stolen by Hale. Now the pass is thrown away. You know, Jack, a lot of teams will get down to a situation like this. They'll go back in the zone and they'll play passively, but North Carolina is always attacking on defense. What an active zone they played. Caused the turnover by Duke. Duke has come apart at the seams a little bit the last couple of possessions. And a foul is called on Doug McNeely against Matt Doherty. And that's pretty fair at the foul line. You're not going to find very many guys out there for Carolina who are not pretty fair at the foul line. The team shoots 79%. This will be Matt Doherty's first trip to the line. He is a 78% free throw shooter. It'll be a one and one. He's got 10 points in the ball game. He also playing his final basketball game here at Carmichael. He's had a great game as well. <laughs> Matt Doherty going into this game along with Walter Davis is the only player in ACC history to score a thousand points get 400 rebounds and 400 assists in a career that's not too bad this is the second one but a very tired Mark Allery couldn't Allery. control the rebound Allery just couldn't control the ball I think it's all over for Duke he's complaining that he was pushed from behind Bennett in the second half you heard very little from Sam Perkins and Michael Jordan Brad Doherty did a nice job early in the game at 10 early points had six big points to keep North Carolina in the game when Michael Jordan was out. And for that, we gave Brad Doherty our Player of the Game award. But Matt, Michael Jordan and Sam Perkins have taken over in the overtime and are leading North Carolina to what seems to be a win. Carolina is 62 seconds away from being team number six in terms of an undefeated ACC campaign and it would be the first in the 23 year career of Dean Smith at North Carolina and you know the players want this one for Coach Smith. Well I think so the thing that's the most impressive statistic about North Carolina possibly being 14 and 0 is how strong the league is they've, they've done this as Kenny Smith makes the first free throw to build a nine point lead game's not going to look like a close game but it was it's been much closer than the nine points up there now. Everybody said the league was balanced and it's the most balanced league in a long, long time. And yet North Carolina can still go through undefeated. Just a great effort by a great team. And with that 10 point advantage, you see Steve Hale back in the ball game. Carolina will ease up on the pressure a little bit. Steve Hale started to go on the floor. They'll pack it back in. Dawkins on the run. Jordan rejects him. Michael Jordan, after sitting down and playing a little bit out of control in the first half, sitting down for large portions of the second half, is really into the basketball game now. Big smile on Michael's face. The ball is lost out of bounds, but they say it went off of Joe Wolf. I'll tell you what, the rest of the world better be ready this summer in Los Angeles with Michael Jordan and undoubtedly Sam Perkins as well show the rest of the Olympic teams how you play Carolina basketball. What a great effort by the Duke Blue Devils. Young team coming in playing very aggressively on offense. Taking the game to North Carolina. Get a foul there on Doug McNeely. 
You have to remember that North Carolina had to score at the buzzer to send the game into overtime. Duke did a fine job. Mike Krzyzewski really had his team ready. They handled the North Carolina pressure well. Just played an outstanding game. Duke has taken a timeout. There is 10 seconds or 40 seconds to go here in the second OT. One of the all time greats in North Carolina basketball history. There's another page of a glittering resume. Sam Perkins, what a job in the overtime. Six points in OT, 23 for the ball game. His classmate, Matt Doherty, at the foul line just hits his 12th point as he too closes out an illustrious Carolina career. Sam Perkins, unbelievable that some people say he is not aggressive enough. How can you criticize a guy like that? My goodness. Dawkins with the ball after the Doherty miss. In and out, Allery swats the ball to Mahar, who saves it to Amaker. And we got an offensive foul. Steve Hale, for about the fifth or sixth time, has drawn the player control foul. Now the seniors are going to come out of the ball game. There goes Sam Perkins and Matt Doherty. Dean Smith given the opportunity for the crowd to recognize his seniors. Big hug there for Sam Perkins and Doherty. Look at the smile on the face of Matt Doherty. Thirty seconds to go in the game. Incidentally, that foul was the fifth on Tommy Amaker. There's Cecil Exum. We can't forget him. Great thing about basketball programs, it's not just five players. You got to go one through 12 to 15, because the guys during the week also have to contribute. And Cecil Exum has made that his major contribution to this Carolina success. Carolina players very happy now. Of course, they realize that this isn't their last game. They hope they've got a lot more coming up. Kenny Smith outside. Steve Hale is rejected by the Duke defense. Got to give Duke some credit. They haven't quit. They've got no chance in the game, but they're still playing aggressive defensively. Phyllis, Allery, Dawkins, Nahar, they really look tired. Richard Ford in the game for Duke. The Matt Doherty basket with one second remaining in regulation got Carolina into overtime. It took them two overtime sessions, but Joe Wolf with the final icing on the cake. It is all over. The North Carolina Tar Heels, for the first time in 10 years, a club in the ACC has gone through the season unbeaten. What a finale. It's a great finale, and now the hard part starts for North Carolina, down to the ACC tournament against a very tough Clemson team, and hopefully for Carolina beyond that, I'm sure.